To prepare to administer the Connor CPT3, you insert the Connor CPT3 software key into the test computer and you access the program by clicking on the MHS scoring software icon. The very first time you utilize the Connor CPT3, you will need to install and activate the software according to the step-by-step -step instructions provided to you along with the software. Prior to every administration of the Connor CPT3 in Connor's CATA, you will want to close all other programs on the test computer to maximize the probability that the administration will run efficiently and without disruption. To minimize distractions during the administration, it is important that the testing occurs in a quiet environment with minimal distractions. Given that the administration time is 14 minutes and cannot be paused, it is recommended that you ask the respondent to visit the washroom and or have a drink of water before the administration. In addition, it is recommended that you ask the respondent to discard any gum or candy prior to the administration. Once you are ready to begin the assessment, in the MHS scoring software under the new assessment menu, you would select the Connor CPT3. You then enter the respondent's name and or ID and demographic information and then click OK to enter the practice test. If you are retesting someone that you have previously tested with the software, you would select load profile and then select the correct respondent from the saved profiles. Once you select OK, you are brought directly to the one minute practice test. When the task instructions appear on the computer monitor like this, the instructions should also be explained verbally. Although the task instructions for the Connor CPT3 are very simple, some individuals such as young children with reading comprehension difficulty may not understand the instructions without further explanation. The Connor CPT3 manual includes a recommended script to further explain how to complete the Connor CPT3 for those individuals who may have difficulty understanding. Once the instructions are read, it is time to begin the practice test, which runs for approximately one minute. During the practice test, the administrator should observe the respondent carefully. The administrator is responsible for deciding whether the respondent is ready for the actual administration or should practice again. However, the software will provide guidance to help inform this decision. Welcome to the Connor CPT3 practice administration. Press the space bar for all letters except for the X. Please respond as quickly as possible, but also as accurately as possible. When you click OK, the practice administration will begin. The respondent should proceed to the actual administration if no warning message is issued at the end of the practice test. If a warning error is issued, it is recommended that the administrator choose practice test again and re-explain the instructions to the respondent before repeating the practice test. If task comprehension does not improve after three attempts, consider foregoing the actual administration. After the decision is made to start the actual administration, ask the respondent to refrain from asking any questions until the administration is complete. During the Connor CPT-3, remain in the room to observe the respondent. If the respondent asks questions during the administration, Deal with questions quickly and the standard answer to almost all questions should be, I can answer that question after you are finished, please continue. In cases where the respondent is disengaged from the task, a one warning approach is used. It is suggested that when the respondent disengages, you make one effort to reorient them by saying a verbal prompt such as, remember, you have to try paying attention the entire time. If the respondent continues to disengage from the task, no further prompts should be given and the program can be terminated by pressing Control q q simultaneously on the keyboard. Let's take a look at what the actual administration looks like. Welcome to the Connor CPT3 administration. Press the space bar for all letters except for the X. Please respond as quickly as possible but also as accurately as possible. When you click OK, the administration will begin.
Once the administration is completed, the program advises the respondent that they have completed the assessment and to please ask for assistance. The administrator then enters a password to proceed back to the Connor CPT3 software main menu. At this point, you would choose to either discard or save the assessment that has just been completed. Once at the main menu, you can generate a report by selecting Generate Report and choosing what type of report you would like to generate, Assessment Report or Progress Report. And here is your Connor CPT3 Assessment Report.